how are we doing today guys thank you once again for joining me on viper 9 toy videos today i have another big bad toy store exclusive boss fight studio vitruvian hack general bossek uh outrider of asperity once again this guy has been a couple years in the making on the back of the box it has this absolutely awesome steel art it has this killer art here you know to kind of mimic the front of the card of what I can only assume is he's burning down a village because he is a bad, bad man. Um, <laughs> right, right here is the bio. Once again, I'm going to give another shout out to Mr. Lennon just because of all the awesome work he does. Oh, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and shout out the rest of the Boss Fight Studio team. Uh, they have never ceased to amaze me on everything that they do. I have thoroughly enjoyed this line ever since the very first kickstarter that i backed oh i think they just celebrated their 10 year anniversary so that's been a hot minute since i got the first figure so once again it is double trade oh my goodness look at all those accessories so right there he does have a skull head a shield a helmet topper two pike extensions for the handle there and then two separate set of hands these ones will be your horizontal wrist rockers where the ones that he has on him will be vertical wrist rockers and then all of the obviously he has a figure stand right there as well now if you remember in my hobgoblin um video that i did previously uh if you haven't checked that one out go check that one out it's a pretty killer figure um i mentioned some of the modular capabilities on these figures um, especially their weapons so right here you go ahead and you pop that on and boom you've got that pike or you go ahead and you pop that off that side then you take this tip here and boom you got that now how awesome is that that you can have multiple weapons such as that now this one <laughs> do you know what Ah, uh, it's just that peg's just a little bit too small, so you can't quite, quite get that one to stay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it would have made me happy. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories on this guy here. He does come with a couple other heads, as well as this just amazing looking new sword. Um, I think the sword was used on one previous boss fight figure that came out at the end of last year. I have yet to pick that one up, unfortunately. But other than that, I think it's only been used on maybe one other figure. Um, so he does have the double ball joint uh, head. He has these awesome pauldrons. But what's really cool about them is, once again, with all the modular capability of boss fight figures, those pauldrons can just pop right off. And then the shoulder articulation, a little hindered from the pauldron, but not bad. The elbow articulation, pretty decent, you know, especially with all this armor built up. The wrist pauldron is also a separate piece that can come off uh, to, to kind of break him down to some, some armor, you know, or um, bare arms. They're not really bare arms, but, you know, it is what it is at that point. And then he has... Hold up. Okay, yeah, no, the, the thigh armor that pegs into the arm, or to the legs. Wow. With, does he have the new, oh, so he does have the new thigh swivels. That is pretty nice. And then once again, the shin guard armor can come off. You pop this leg off, or that foot off, and then the modular design, you can go ahead and pop that that shin guard right off just like that. So the customization on these figures, I am not a painter. I, I do not like painting figures, um, but I do want to make customs every now and then. So the part swap capabilities on these figures is just so absolutely amazing. Um, let me see if I have another boss fight figure laying here. I don't believe I do have another boss fight. Bummer, because I was going to show just some of the modular capabilities of throwing these figures together. Uh, swapping parts and everything like that. Let's go ahead and get this pauldron back on. Bracer. That's a pauldron. That's a bracer. Sorry about that. I hesitated there for a second when I said it, because it just didn't sound right when I said it. And then this 
is on a peg system, so that should be able to turn. So we can drop that beefy boy of a sword right into that scabbard. I don't know how you would walk around with that thing. That is just a very big sword. Very nice broad sword. Um, let's go ahead and pop this head off. So one thing that I did mention in that other tray was... Yeah, that's fairly sharp. It had... So see, even, even the helmet has modular design. So you can put that right there on it. Or... You could just go ahead and take it off all together and just have the flat the flat helm right there. <laughs> Probably put the pointy boy back on though. Just like that. And then with the heads, they all come with their own individual ball joints, so you don't have to like try prying that ball joint out there out of there at all. We'll go ahead and oh come on. I think this is kind of a, a demon skull with fiery red eyes. Oh, take a look at that. That just completely changes the dynamic of this figure. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That honestly might be the head that I keep on him. Uh, just to keep him a little bit different from some of the other knights that I have. And then even this, this ram skull, like the jaw has a little bit of articulation to it. Let's see if we can't get this ram... So he might not want to go on too well because of, I think, either the shoulder pauldrons or maybe the ball joint slipped back in. There we go. So that that is just absolutely awesome. Even that right there, you could almost... Ah! He beheaded himself. You could almost buy, I would dare say, four of these guys... And almost have them as close to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, with with the different heads. Right there. And then there is kind of a... Oh, that's an orc skull. That's not even a human skull. If you take a look, if my camera would focus, it's got... Come on here, buddy. The orc fangs right there at the bottom. So that's not even a human skull. That is awesome it's not the first time i've seen the orc skull but to be honest with you i was expecting just the generic human skull on that and not necessarily that one so that right there is super rad really digging this figure um obviously you know like i kind of mentioned the troop building factor of the capability of this guy because he is a named character but you swap out the heads alter the armor a little bit and boom you've got Mm, excuse me, a bunch of different knights of asperity, you know, your your generals or whatnot. And this, I think that's a new shield. I, once again, I'm not 100% sure. I don't recall seeing the shield before, but I am also a couple figures behind. So it does have, let's see if that there, That might not that might not hold. So you can kind of so what these these hoops are for back here are kind of a, a double figure. So you got these two hoops here, I believe, are so you could put a rope on it so you can like lash it to where it'll fit on their back, kind of put a, a, a ring on it. And then these hoops here, um, they started putting in some of the older shields so you could put a spear in there. I was trying to see if that would fit, but it looks like it's just a scotch too big to fit well in there. Oh, maybe. You might be able to get that to work. That way you can get... That's super rad. I, I dig that. I like that skull. I like the logo, the ram horn on that. Overall, I'm super satisfied, once again, with Boss Fight Studios. Like I said, two years wait, well worth it, because I know they're going to deliver a killer figure. Um, once again, it's Boss Fight Studios, just like the Hobgoblin, 
uh, are both Big Bad Toy Store exclusives. I don't know if they're ever going to come to the Boss Fight site, but definitely go check them out. And right there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.